Pontiac. Fiero. Hi, thanks for checking out this video on my 3800 build. This video is a collection of work that couldn't be rolled into anything else, so it'll be the first of several miscellaneous videos. Today I'll be plugging the open water pump channel, installing an oil pressure setting unit, as well as uh, installing a custom Fiero thermostat. Check it out, and I hope you find it useful. Thanks again, and please like, share, and subscribe. Alright, in this miscellaneous segment of my video, I'm going to do a couple of odds and ends I couldn't really fit anywhere else. One of them being the uh, um, water pump hole that we now have open. We're going to plug that. I'm also going to um, put an elbow in on the oil pressure sending unit so it will clear the alternator. So we'll do a couple of those and uh, let's go from there. All right, here's a closer look at the opening on the side of the water pump. We're going to have to uh, plug this opening because we are not going to be using it. And to do so, we're going to use a freeze plug. This is a doorman part number 555-017. And it fits in there just nice. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put that in. Now in order to set this in, what we're going to do is we're going to tap it in with a hammer and a socket and we want a socket that fits directly in there so you can hold it perfectly straight and this is a 5 8 yes 5 8 socket so that's what we're going to use to uh, to push this in alright now we take our socket we want to try and keep it as flush as possible Tap that in. And there you see it, all tapped in, set to go. All right, here we have the oil filter adapter. On the side here is where our oil pressure sending unit is going to be plugged in. Now, with, we're going to use the oil pressure sending unit from an 88 Fiero. As it stands now, the low mount alternator will not allow it to plug in. So what we have to use is a quarter inch elbow adapter. I got this at Home Depot. It was like two bucks, less than three bucks, um, and it works perfectly. So when we put it on, we have the option to have our oil pressure sending unit facing forward or facing the rear. So it's optional. All right. So in my case, I mean, it's a 50-50 decision. Do I want it facing this way? Do I want it facing it that way? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and face it this way. I'm thinking that if I ever have to service it, it'd be easier to pop the fender well off, to pop this off, as opposed to trying to get down under the car and get it. So that's just kind of the logic I'm going through. So I'm going to have mine facing this way. Now when we tighten it, we want to try and get it as tight as we can, but we may not get it fully tight because it may end up facing in any direction. So. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use some Teflon tape and I'm going to get it as tight as I can but allow it to still face the direction that I'd like. Alright, so now we'll go ahead and screw this on. Okay, so, uh, building log note, the elbow actually does not fit with the alternator bracket. Um, well, it fits, but you're not able to screw it on with the alternator bracket on. So, in my case, I'm going to have to actually remove the alternator bracket. If you haven't built your car yet, then I would suggest doing this prior to putting on the Fiero Raj alternator bracket. Otherwise, it fits all right, but when I try and screw it on, I get interference from the bracket. It ends up hitting, so we're going to have to uh, pop this off. So I'm going to do that. We'll screw it on, and then we'll get back on track.
that's good. Now we're gonna take our 88 Fiero sending unit and we're gonna wrap some Teflon tape around that. Just a little bit. We'll thread that in. All right, we don't want to muscle this on, but we definitely want to make it snug. I think that'll be perfect. Not going anywhere. All we got to do now is put our alternator bracket on and we're good to go. All right, next on our to-do list is we're going to swap out our thermostat housing with a customized one for the Fiero. This will allow for better access to add cooling and to burp the system after the engine's installed. So take this one out and put this one on. This will be a 10 millimeter socket. Now we're going to go ahead and pop the thermostat out and we're going to clean off the old gasket. All right, before removing the thermostat, I cleaned off the old gasket material and got it all out of the way. Now I'm going to pop the thermostat out. And that really popped out. All right, just a little notation here. I wanted to install the thermostat housing, but I'm noticing that my bypass valve is interfering with my Fiero thermostat housing. So it looks like this thermostat housing that I bought, I got it on eBay, so I couldn't tell you if it was a West Coast Fiero or who made it. Um, I believe I was told it was West Coast Fiero, but in this case, if you want to retain your bypass valve, which I do, from what I understand, the bypass valve actually, uh, removing the bypass valve actually uh, causes you to lose horsepower when cruising. So I want to keep mine. But in this case, I think this thermostat housing was designed to go in place of where the bypass valve would be removed. So if I wanted to remove the bypass valve, Looks like I'd go with this one. I do have another one though. This one's not as pretty. Um, it was uh, a custom weld job done locally and not by a professional, but it works. But this one actually gives me the clearance to uh, retain the bypass valve and have clearance to um, hook up the vacuum hose. So, I think what I'm going to do, since I want to retain my vacuum hose, or my bypass valve, is I'm going to go with the not as pretty one. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it up. Um, the only other difference is um, this one has an extra hose that's normally used for your heater core. Um, but I'm going to tap the supercharger um, coolant line for my... Uh, my heater core line so I actually don't really need this so the fact this only has one is okay and don't worry I got this for free so even though it's not pretty no one will really see it because it's gonna sit behind the supercharger in the back of the car and I will end up selling the other one off or keeping it for another future project but this one seems to fit just how I need it to so this is what I'm gonna go with so I'll go ahead and paint this and attach this and I'm going to use a um, stock supercharged thermostat housing gasket. Came with my uh, kit I bought for doing the lower intake cover and supercharger. So I'd recommend getting that kit and you already have this gasket. So let me go ahead and paint this up and we'll be back. Alright, so we'll lay this on. Get it lined up.
And here we have it. We've got it, everything all hooked up. We've got our bypass valve hooked up. And everything looks good. Thanks again for checking out this video on my 3800 Fiero video. Hopefully you found the information a little useful and helpful. Please check out my other videos for other useful tips on installing the 3800 in a Fiero. And please subscribe so you can see the upcoming 3800 build videos as well as other Fiero related videos. Thanks again.